Hola mis amores, good morning. It is Sunday. It is almost noon. I woke up probably 30 minutes ago. Um, and yeah, welcome to my channel. Buenos dias. We have to make sure we drink water. We have to constantly be hydrating, girl. We need to moisturize and hydrate your skin. These are two very different things. But anyways, what I'm going to talk about today uh, are two things. I wanna do a special unboxing. It's not a special unboxing, it's just an unboxing. But I also want to start a new segment on my channel, which is Things That Grind My Gears. Or in Spanish, I guess it'll be now, this segment is going to be about things that actually grind my gears. Like, McDonald's. You know that when you go through the drive-thru, there are two lanes, right? I don't understand. If there are two lanes, why people just clog up one lane so much so that you can't even go through lane number two. It's that clogged up. Why do you do that, people? I don't get it. Use both lanes. They alternate services. Lane one takes the order, then lane two takes the order. Then lane one takes the order again, then lane two takes the order again. Don't use just one lane. It clogs up the traffic. Please. Another thing that grinds my gears are job applications. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, job applications. HR departments. Tell me why do you ask me to upload my resume and then go and ask me to fill out everything I already have on the resume? Why can't you just take everything I have on the resume? Why can't you just take everything I have on the resume? Why can't you just take everything I have on the resume? Read it. It's not that deep. Read what's on the resume. It's the same thing I'm going to put on your website. <clears throat> I lost my cool there. Totally relating to that problem right now. Another thing that grinds my gears is customs. When you come into the country, the United States, I'm talking about the US, I don't know about other countries, but when you come into the United States, you have to go to customs. I understand that people have to go to customs. I understand that it's something that needs to be done. You need to know who's coming in who from the country, who's a citizen, who's not, why are they coming into the country, why did they leave, et cetera, et cetera. That's perfectly understandable. Customs, I understand that. Can you tell me though, why in airports like Dulles or airports like Fort Worth, can anyone in the airport industry Please tell me why there are 20, 30, maybe even 40 cubicles for officers to work in, in airports like Dulles, maybe airports like Fort Worth. Yet out of the 30, 40 cubicles open, there's maybe like five officers, five cubicles working. You are telling me I have to spend between an hour to two in immigration and customs? Are we serious? Sir, I'm coming back home. Number one. Number two, I understand you have to do your job, but you guys have to find a way to do it more efficiently, sir. I need to go potty. Most people in that line need to go potty. Especially after a transatlantic flight. Are you serious? Immigration and customs people. Anyways, ah, so that's it for my segment of the day, things that grind my gears. I did want to do a little unboxing here. I bought something, so all the good discounts, this is a preamble, right? All the good discounts start not on Black Friday, not on December 24th, 25th, 26th, 
It's like really good discounts when store want, stores want to get rid of their inventory. This is a blanket. Is after New Year's. And I bought this little bag. It's a little coach bag. I just wanted to unbox it with you. This little bag was close to $200. I bought it for $75. So let's see what awaits us. I got this little box and I already um, opened the tape, but um, I like getting packages from Coach. I think the unpackaging experience is beautiful at this store. I think they really put a lot of thought into how to package the product and have the customer really have that in-store experience of some sort. So uh, with Coach, you get a little normal box. Um, I just, my address and everything is blurred out. Scrabbled out, actually, it's not blurred. Um, and the box is just like any other box. Nothing that will catch anyone's eyes. Uh, but once you open a Coach box, now I'm going to do this as best as I can. I really have never done an unboxing, but I wanted you guys to have this um, experience with me because I love opening products that are so well thought out and with a customer in mind such as this one so you get the product i'm just going to come a little bit closer and then you unopen unveil it i was going to say unopen it well that's not a word that exists oh god oh god here we go here we go so you and then you get the opening right but then you get this look i just i just love how it's all packaged i love love how it's all packaged and i've never done an unboxing so there's gonna be a really awkward for me so you get this and then ooh, what is this right so you get this little thing and what's in here well probably the return label it is a return oh Oh yeah, my stuff is not in here. The return label for, um, in case you want to return it. But look at this beautiful, beautiful quality uh, little envelope. It's heavy, it's thick, and this is just your, um, well, I'm not showing you this. This is your um, receipt. I, you know, a lot of companies just throw the receipt in, in the box. No, the, the, this comes with a receipt and your return label in this very beautiful, I'm gonna call it an envelope. Now, after you take out your receipt, oh my God, you guys, here comes a moment of truth. You, look at how uh, carefully packaged it is. It has this little sticker here. Um, it wasn't sticking very well, but who cares? And so you unpack it slowly but surely so what we're gonna do is we're gonna finally take the product out and look how perfectly per look how perfectly and carefully packaged it is i mean i love the coach online shopping experience i think it's exquisite truly truly exquisite um let me push this i just don't want it to look like trash or as trashy and you slowly but surely unveil it to see the final product. Oh my God, it's so pretty. Oh, I love good quality products. Look, don't you think it's the cutest little thing ever? I'm gonna take my disgusting hands, but look at it. It's so cute. So, 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 so cute. Oh my god, it's so soft too. It's so exquisite. There we go. Ay Dios mio. This is the little purse I got. It's so cute. It's so well done. It's perfect for every day. If you don't want to carry a big purse like this one, or the one that I'm using right now is this one. Look, it's huge. It's so huge. I just wanted something that was light. Ugh, it fell down to the floor. That's bad luck. If you're Latino, I'm not sure if this is a Latino thing, but Mexicans, ugh, I just need to get it. Mexicans, uh, they think that if you put your purse on the floor, that you your money is gonna go away from you. So I need to pick it up. <laughs> I don't. I want my money to stay with me. This is the bag itself, right? 
It has, I'm just gonna put this aside. It has the zipper uh, component, the zipper part of the bag right here, the first one. It has the middle part of the bag and it has uh, no, like for cash and stuff. So this is a really, really cute everyday small purse. Okay, so it can be used as a cute little clutch, see? Or it can be used as a cute, cute, cute little purse. You just put the thingy right here. This. Oh, it's so cute. Ah, I'm glad I made this investment. And voila, this is my unboxing. I was gonna say unwrapping for some reason. Uh, unboxing for today. I really like this purse, I really do. That was my rant for the day. Um, yeah, thank you very much for watching this video. Please subscribe if you want. You never have to do anything with me. It's only if you want to. I would also encourage you to share the video if you like it and give it a thumbs up and comment what grinds your gears. I'm gonna show you outside because it's January the 12th of 2020. It's January the 12th of 2020 no snow it's cool it's fresh it's not cold there is sun i i'm afraid i'm afraid i'm seriously afraid i've never seen a january this warm before and it's only snowed probably two times since late october early november that is insane to me this winter has not been harsh at all I don't understand what's going on. I love, I really, really love the fact that it's not freezing cold and that it's not dark all day, but this is scary. I mean, let me show you guys. You guys, it's so sunny. Look, oh my God, there is no snow. It's not cold. I mean, look at me, I'm wearing a freaking, uh, what is this called? A tank top or a crop top or whatever look at this this is just a parking lot oh my god oh my god it's marvelous darling it's marvelous i am a child of the sun in the desert but dude i i hope i get this weather from here until spring thank you once again i'm very much obliged besitos